Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the game Return to Monkey Island working on the Apple Silicon Mac. So this is going to be a full tutorial on how to buy the game, how to get Steam installed, and how to get this game working on Mac hardware. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first thing we're going to do is to install the Steam client. So what we need to do is to go to the website steam.storepower.com, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And the relevant link that we need is going to be this green one on the top right hand side of the website. So we need to click on install Steam and then we'll be taken to this page where it's automatically detected we need the Mac version of Steam and then we'll click this button install Steam. And that's going to start a small download and what we need to do is to minimize this and then go to Finder. And within Finder we're going to go down to Downloads. And within downloads, we're going to double click on steam.dmg and then we're going to drag and drop this into the applications folder. So with the trackpad or the left mouse button, we're going to hold down on the Steam icon and then drop this into the applications icon. And once that's done, we're going to go back to Finder and then click on applications. And then we're going to scroll down until we find the Steam icon here. So just double click on this. Here it's saying that Steam is an app downloaded from the internet. We're going to press open and then it's going to start downloading the full Steam software. So just wait for that to complete. So here it's just extracting and installing an update and cleaning up. So now you can see that Steam icon here is bobbing up and down. That's just waiting for it to start. And then here, what we're going to do is to log into our Steam account. So if you don't have a Steam account already, you can create one for free. Just press create new account. And then all you need to do is to enter your email address and then you'll be taken through to a standard account creation window. However, what I'm going to do is to log into my existing account and then move on to the next step. So here it's asking us for my computer authorization. I'm going to click next and then type in the code which I'll receive from my email account. So next I'm going to press finish. So now we've successfully logged into the Mac version of Steam. We can go ahead and download Mac versions of games or we can easily buy them from the store. So in order to buy Return to Monkey Island, I'm going to press the store button here. And then once that's loaded, we're going to go to the search bar. I want to do a search for Return to Monkey. And here we're going to find this game. I'm going to click on it to go to its store page. So in order to buy the game, we're going to scroll down. Then we're going to find this section here. It says add to cart and the icons here represent Windows and Mac OS. So it's definitely going to work on a Mac. So I'm going to press the add to cart button. And then here we've got the option to purchase this for myself or as a gift. I'm going to purchase for myself. And then I'm going to enter my credit card details and then continue to the next step. So once that purchase is complete, we can go ahead and install it by pressing the install content button, or we can press on the library and then type in the word Monkey Island and then find Return to Monkey Island here. Then we're gonna click on this and then click the blue button here to install the game. So here we're gonna install it in its default location. It's going ahead and preparing the Mac and it's gonna start this download process. This is a 3.8 gigabyte game, so just wait for that to complete before moving on to the next step. So once the game has completed downloading, we can go ahead and press the play button and we can find it in our library under Return to Monkey Island and then press play and then it's gonna start launching. So now the game has launched. So now we're into the main menu. I'm going to press new game and we're going to start a new game. This is an Intel application running under the Rosetta 2 translation layer, but it seems to work fine on Apple Silicon hardware. So anyway, this is how you get Return to Monkey Island installed on the Apple Silicon Mac. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.